The Sacramento County's Public Health Department says that the Omicron sample was collected from the wastewater on Tuesday, November 30th. That's one week ago today, and that means the Omicron variant is likely already here. They've detected genetic material in our wastewater. A facility serving more than 1.7 million people. The Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant teamed with Stanford University looking for traces of the Omicron variant. It's sort of a composite sample of the whole region. So although we can't identify a specific person, we can find that it's there whether or not they even know it. General Manager Christoph Dobson says the researcher's findings indicate that there's at least one case in the area. Somewhere in our system, someone has that particular COVID variant. Health officials are hopeful that early detection through wastewater monitoring could help communities prepare to respond before an outbreak. In Davis, which is on a separate sewage system, researchers haven't encountered the Omicron variant yet. You can get a snapshot of the city from day to day with one sample. Heather Bischel is the UC Davis assistant professor leading wastewater monitoring efforts there. Monitoring wastewater provides, you know, potentially a week, several days before um, someone would voluntarily go in for symptomatic testing, or maybe someone is carrying asymptomatically um, and signals might show up from that as Close well. The door and watch it go. Much remains to be learned about the Omicron variant, but thanks to this monitoring, we now know with some certainty that it's here. And the general manager at the Sacramento Sanitation District told me that there's no evidence that once the wastewater gets to them that it's still infectious with disease. It only means that some COVID genetic material has gotten to the plant. And we can't stress it enough, Luke. As you mentioned, there's still so much that we don't know about the Omicron variant. That's right. Sacramento County Public Health Officer Olivia Casiria reiter reiterating that point this morning. We don't know if Omicron is more transmissible or if it's associated with more severe disease or how effective our current vaccines are at protecting us from it. Much to learn in the coming weeks, Chris.